Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try Life by the Sea. I'm going to use a capo. You ever use a capo on your ook? <laughs> it's actually pretty hard. My, I have a guitar capo, so it's kind of big. But So I'm going to put the capo at the first fret. Okay, That's going to put us in our the key, because it looks like they're in uh, the key of G sharp or something. So who needs that aggravation? So. Uh, you don't need to put the capo on if you want to play, but if you want to play along with uh, Tubbo here, you're going to have to be in his key, right? So, and instead of doing a bunch of bar chords and tough chords, I decided this is a nice easy song. Let's make it nice and easy. So, we're going to go like this. And there you go, that's the whole song. It just keeps the same pattern for the whole song, in other words. So, uh, first chord is a, a G chord. Uh, third string, first string, second fret, second string, third fret. And what my strum is going to be is going to be down, up, down, down, up, down, down. Just with my thumb. Down, up, down, down, up, down, down. Then I'm going to go to a G7 chord, which is the third string and the first string, second fret. But now it's the second string, first fret. Uh, I'm going to do the same strum, but add a couple extra at the end. So, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up. And that's all I add. Now I'm going to go to a C chord, first string, third fret. And when I'm talking about the frets, I'm talking away from the capo, because we don't use capos much on the uke. Uh, so the three frets away from the capo. It's a C chord. Everybody else is open. Going back to the first strum. Down, up, down, down, up, down, down. Then I'm going to go to a C minor. I'm going to cover uh, three, two, and one strings at the third fret. Just like that. So the fourth string's open, and then I bar three, two, and one at the third fret. I'm going to change my strum to down, up, down, up, down, just like that. So here it is. the whole song it just keeps revolving around you could change it for the chorus it seems like you know you, you might try something different for a strum pattern for the chorus to make it different it kind of gets buried that piano in there in the mix and stuff but sounds like you might be doing the same thing through the whole song uh, the only other thing uh, sometimes on that C minor the last chord that we we did the strum pattern of down up down up down like that they leave that last strum off uh, every once in a while. So it's like down, up, down, up, and then just back. Sometimes they leave that one off and then... So you, you would end on a G chord if you can't figure that out, by the way. So, that's it. Capo 1, that's it for Life by the Sea. Uh, hit that like button. Please subscribe and play more Ook.